And welcome to this week's edition of Bound Fan TV with On The March videos. We want to say a massive thank you to the learners class at Carncastle Flute Band for opening the show. More from them later. So we're starting with Friday night when we went to Cross Guard Young Defenders Annual Parade. Cross Guard is going to be our profile band of the week and they were formed back in 1987 and it's really great to see that the band has continued to go from strength to strength but of course they are still recruiting more members the more the better so fluters, drummers and also people for their colour party they're practising in Cross Guard Orange Hall and they practice on a Tuesday evening so if you are keen please give them a shout they had great support from bands and it was really, really good to see such a great turnout. Mm -hmm. And they intend, where possible, to support as many of the bands that came to their parade. And also a few fundraisers throughout the year to keep the band funds going. So who do we have coming up from the parade besides Crossguard themselves? <laughs> Well, they've had an away clip of Pride of Hell from Rather Island, which isn't too far away. But they were in fine form and in big in numbers as they were close to home. But a wee clip of them coming up straight after Crossgar. <laughs> So the next band up is Die Fubble Accordion Band who were playing at the Ulster Bands Accordion Indoor Festival just last week and we want to say a huge thank you. I was given CDs of the band. Mm -hmm. uh, actually there was three. We have one playing in the car at the moment so we do and we are really enjoying it. So if you see any of the guys out of Die Fubble and you're partially with bit accordion music please they've got CDs on sale. Please go and ask them for some. Yeah, they're very, very good. We've listened to one so far, and there's another one upstairs in the bedroom which I've been listening to each day, and uh, really enjoying that. So we are. Uh, a massive thank you for those. So coming up over the top of Diary of Fumble is a list of the parades coming up in the next two weeks, and also some events that's going on. Still plenty of events being run by bands and fundraisers going on at the minute.
Saturday night, we took a jaunt over to Lisburn for Ballamacash's annual parade. And it was a night for everybody coming out in style and their new uniforms. Mm -hmm. Ballamacash led the way in their new uniform, followed by Pride of the Shore in theirs. And of course, Lambeg, orange and blue, in their new tartan trues <laughs> as they marched in their hometown. Mm -hmm. And everybody was looking so well. A fantastic turnout. We had about 37 or 38 bands. I lost count. And there's a few bands that didn't get on camera as they weren't part playing as a past us. So I apologise for that. But all the videos you can get up on YouTube. And there's a really good clip of Gertrude Starr who were in fine form. And they're coming up after Pride of Ballamacash. lots of bands out there with learners classes going kids coming into the band sync to learn an instrument is absolutely fantastic and it leads to growth in your band longevity and life and we were really really privileged this week to be able to go and see the kids in Corn Castle. yeah we were down and we got some clips some interviews we had a chat and they made us so welcome we even got a cup of tea and it was brilliant to see how the kids were really enjoying it. You know, yeah. they were loving it. They love being out with the band. Mm -hmm. A lot of them following in their parents' footsteps. Dads getting their sons and daughters into the band. Yeah. But that thing about being mm -hmm. proud to be part of a band. One of them even said they joined Corn Castle because for them it was the best band in the world. And yes. how better to get them on the streets mm -hmm. and uh, walking. So we've put together actually a Banff on TV extra, which is going to come out either later tonight or maybe tomorrow when we get it finished off. So this bit is just a clip it of the main Banff on TV extra, which will be coming out very, very soon. And you've all the night created already, Tommy. When was your first period? Uh, February. 23rd February. I wanted to see what was it. 
I'm a fallen, it's pretty lonely. And what was it like? Were you, like you said you were nervous. Yeah. Was anybody else nervous? No, it was lovely. It was lovely? Was he excited? And how did it feel to be out of the band, the whole band? Good. Was it good? We'd like to invite you to come along and subscribe to our channel. Give us a good old thumbs up and even more important, leave us a wee comment. Tell us what you like about the show or what you'd like to see more of in the show. And of course, let us know even if you have a favourite band and we'll try and dig that out for you. We want to say a massive thank you again to the kids of Carn Castle. Guys, keep up the good work and don't yeah. forget to give us a wave when you see us when you're out on the march. So please... Take care of yourselves and we will see you all very soon when we are back on the march and we are going to finish this week with Sir George White, one of our favourites from Brisbane. So take care and don't forget to keep following us. Following them. Bye. Bye.